Today we'll have a look at one of the heaviest lenses made in uh, Germany, the Cold War Germany. It's a uh, Pentacon 5.6 500. It's quite heavy, obviously it's uh, made of steel. I'm using it with the speed booster lens to Botu uh, and uh, Lumix camera. Uh, the uh, oh, I can't remember what camera is it. It's GX800. So um, the lens is uh, quite heavy. And uh, the reason I'm using it with the small uh, camera is uh, just for fun. So, uh, there's the side on the wall. You can get uh, as close as, uh, as that. It has got nice aperture. We'll have a look at the aperture, hopefully. Yes, there is the aperture. Uh, hold on, I'll make some... All right. Yeah. So it's beautiful, round circle. Great for portraits. If you say, why would make a portrait with the uh, telelens. Well, it's fun. As I said before, uh, taking pictures is about fun. Having fun, not about sharpness, resolution and all that. It's about fun. Uh, it's about connecting people. And it's unusual. Plenty of people taking portraits with uh, bright, fast lenses. And... Uh, well, you can use telelens and take uh, great portraits as well. So, um, this lens is uh, apparently was made for uh, medium format cameras. Uh, it came with the M42 adapter. It's factory uh, adapter. Uh, didn't try to unscrew it, so I'm not sure if you have to uh, able to unscrew this adapter. It works great with the lens turbo. And funny thing is that it has got actually. I'll try to. I'll try to. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there's uh, there are shadows corners it will be more visible if I go like that right so um I'm trying to show the these shadows, which is very unusual. So, I've, if the lens is actually made for medium format cameras, there shouldn't be any shadows. Uh, maybe it's because of the lens turbo, uh, the speedbuster. It's affecting the picture somehow. It's quite interesting to see that sort of things on a small format camera it's micro four thirds and uh, the lens is apparently medium format camera and <laughs> I've got this uh, very rare shadows uh, difficult to show and uh, it's fun to use this this lens uh, with any cameras but uh, the only thing is uh, that sh uh, sharpening, focusing, 
focusing uh, is quite difficult. The depth uh, is uh, so narrow, so you can easily miss your uh, target. Target, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, so um, apparently it's. Uh... Oh, no, no. Let's, let's see inside. So, yes. There you go. Circle, circle, circles. Circle. Yeah, it's, uh, it says, it says that the uh, lens is somehow coated. Don't care much about it. It's, uh, I, I use lots of lenses and uh, some of them are coated, some of them are not. Doesn't make much difference to me. Uh, it's more about having fun using old lenses than about getting great pictures. Well, it's obviously important. Uh, once I had a horrible lens, can't remember which one was it, and I got so such a soft pictures. I, I sold this lens or I give it to someone and I regret it because uh, then I realized that soft pictures are actually great for uh, portraits. If you watch uh, 4K movies, 8K movies, you'll see a lot, a lot on the uh, uh, face and uh, sometimes it's not good. Most of the time people don't want to show the uh, whatever they've got on their face. So uh, in the old times, people used some sort of uh, they, they scratch. This is for all. They scratch the front lens. Uh, they made circles, small scratches, very small scratches, and uh, to get a softer image, it was specially made for uh, portraits. So I think 4K, 8K, 16K, whatever, um, it's not a good thing when it comes, when we talk about portraits. So let's have a last look at this great, beautiful lens made in Germany in uh, 80s, I believe. Let's check the number. It says... 86 so there's a chance that it was made in 1986 uh, around 1987 Pentacon changed the uh, the numbering they started from zero or something so uh, yeah well there you go Pentacon 5.6 500